I love you. I will always love you. Oh, Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, we know this. You're my destiny. The lover's card here. I'm not going to go over it all again, guys. We're just, you know, going to talk about it briefly. The Ten of Pentacles there is their overall energy. The Sun card is yours. The Magician card here, wanting, just dreaming about you guys, knowing what they did. They got the cone here on their head, <laughs> being forced to heal and get that perspective. And they have. They're wanting to show you here. Look, look at that path. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. I know things weren't balanced. I know what I did and I want to own up to it here with that Knight of Pentacles, guys. There's that commitment. There is that horse here just wanting to be have some humility is what I want to say, but they really, really want to reach you, even if it's just to have you in their life with that Eight of Wands, Cancer. Cancer, because they know that some of you have already gone or you're on the way out. They feel your energy pulling away, Cancer. Um, before, I have to say, your energy was still there. And now it's just been a really long, quiet period. And they're terrified that you're leaving. And they're coming so fast. So fast. Hi, Cancer. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. Hi. Welcome also if you are new to the channel. Very happy you are here. And well, welcome to your bonus reading. This is your bonus love reading, your love tarot reading, tarot love reading. What a mess I'm making already today. <laughs> now, normally I would also tell you we are looking at um, oracle cards, but today we're actually going to look at guardian angel reading cards. But as always, we will be channeling love messages, direct messages to you from your person. This is really loud today, isn't it? And also channeled song messages. Okay, <laughs> Cancer, just want to remind you that there is a lot of energy here today. Please remember to take what's yours and throw away the rest. Can be you feel this is a private reading just for you and can also be that there are particular messages coming through and particular decks I want to tell you. Um, also at the end of the reading, I will be pulling totems today, guys. They are back. So um, stay tuned for that as well. The very last thing I want to say to you before we begin channeling your reading today is please remember this is not a prediction. Energies can, will, and do change, guys. Everybody has free will. So please remember that, um, especially for you when you're watching and or listening to your reading, however you take them in, that your outcome is yours. That's what I wanted to say to you. Um, Spirit is wanting me to get moving. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Can we please have guidance today? Can you guide us today with Cancer and their person they have come here for? Any messages or guidance you want to send through to help them receive some answers to questions they might have, clarity and understanding, and feel and leave with a sense of peace and love in their heart. We welcome and thank you for your guidance today. Cancer and cross watchers. Okay, this was wanting to be pushed off here. Uh, first thing, well, first thing, one of many things I want to say to you, Cancer, I do not read reversals. If you are, <laughs> that was a very flippy, flyy one. You are meant to receive any messages or energy in reverse. I want to tell you, look, these are both being pushed off here. You will. They will come through. Three of Pentacles here, guys. Gosh, it's just everything is slipping and sliding around. The Lover's card. And I didn't actually tell you yet, Cancer. I meant to tell you. The guitar wanted to come in at the very last minute. And what came through with the guitar is an apology. I have to tell you, your person's wanting to offer you an apology here. And we're going to talk about it in a moment. There's a lot to talk about already. And I want to tell you, I did have, well, there's a little flyer for you. 
The Knight of Pentacles. Interesting here, guys. I did have a reading for you yesterday, and it was quite beautiful, but one of the files was corrupt. So I am I'm not releasing it, but I'm already seeing here um, a lot of the same stuff going on. Eight of Cups here, guys. And by the way, I want to tell you, did you see that? That is the Magician card. We do have the Lover's card here over with that apology. So that's quite interesting. Um, also, because if you watch my readings, you know that this tends to be the sort of naughty corner, <laughs> if you will, the breadcrumbing, ghosting, hiding their feelings corner. It's interesting that the lover's card is there because that guitar can mean a lot of things. It can be you're a musician, your person is, or you communicate through music, whatever that's gonna be. But when it came down today, it was really not even just about making peace, which it can be, guys, I have to tell you, instruments, musical notes. It, uh, I could hear an apology coming with it. Your person really wants to apologize for something here. Um, guys, it is coming down on the love, lover's card, excuse me, the lover's card coming and them, them wanting to connect here. Um, this feels very sincere to me, I want to tell you. And interestingly enough, the lover's card is a six. I want to say that to you as well. And a six in numerology really is about harmony, guys, with another person and healing. Your person wants to move past something here that went on between you. Um, we're going to get into it, of course, in just a moment here. But we do have Capricorn energy. We have Taurus energy here, guys. We have the Eight of Cups. We have Pisces energy here. Okay. Interesting. This is also poking its way out, I have to say to you. Sag and <laughs> look, Sagittarius, there's temperance coming right below the three of pentacles. That's interesting. I have to say that's very interesting. Eight of wands here. Yeah, guys, look, there it is. There is the eight of wands, more Sagittarius energy. But what, what am I feeling um, already? Well, I've already felt it, but this is a confirmation. Your person really wants to reach out to you, Cancer, really wanting to offer you an apology. And I feel an explanation. And here's the thing that's really, um, it's very goosebumpy already. I have to tell you that. It is Valentine's Day as I channel for you. Now, you might not be watching this on Valentine's Day. You might be watching this many months, years later. It can be you're watching it just as it is coming out. But what I want to tell you, it's the energy here now, and it's the energy I'm feeling and channeling, and your person is really missing you and feeling this extra, the pressure that we get from Valentine's Day. It is on your person's mind big time. You are very much on your person's mind. And I just touched, interestingly enough, here um, a turquoise and um, part of our seven point angel uh, star here, which was telling me that your person could be, uh, could have been born in December. But anyway, um, as I was saying, the energy is very strong. Your person really wants to reach out to you, really wants to reach out to you. I do feel some fear here, guys, but um, yeah. <laughs> Let me get your overall energy and we will continue on here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have an overall energy card for Cancer's person, please? Interesting. There's something in here, guys. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we please have an overall energy card for our cancers today. Okay, um, before I put this down, look, I need to look in here. There's something in here. Do you hear it? Okay, I hear it. Um, yeah, okay, now I've actually, oh, there it is, okay. Um, so we have your energy card for you, Cancer. And look, there was a number five in here. Um, this is so strong, I have to tell you. And this was rattling around on my fingers as I was channeling your person's energy. Let's see what's going on here in their energy. But I have to say to you, that five already, guys, that change from what? From conflict and instability. Your person wants to clear something up. The energy has been very, very strong. We are in the year of the water tiger, as you know, that began February 1st. And one of the things about it is to uh, clear things up 
and really drastic changes. That's what I wanted to say to you. It's sort of like this go big, go home feeling. And it's it's no different with your person, guys. They're really, really wanting to reach out here, not just clear things up to you, but I'm feeling a whole lot of I love you's coming from here. Um, I have to say your person has been confused for a long time, but that's coming through very strong. And as I said, what came through very strong in the the very start of the reading and as we moved along here in the reading is them wanting to reach out to you and apologize and it can also be here a lot about guys look here we do have temperance here we are seeing an imbalance here very uh, very much so and if you look what is here it's heart guys um your person has kind of i want to say woken up they already know how much they love you but feeling like they want to reach out and tell you that it's super emotional. Cancer, cancer, cancer. There is the sun here. It's kind of right behind them, um, almost touching, I want to say, their energy of this realizing that things have been in balance, but also realizing that they were a big part of that, not giving you everything that you were giving them is what I want to say to you. For a lot of you, this there is a, a lot of breadcrumbing up to ghosting um, completely, the separation, but ghosting and breadcrumbing before that as well. But that sun here, a lot like the sun card, I have to tell you, there is that new beginning there, end of a cycle, completion, renewal, big time. Your person wants another chance, I have to say, Cancer, even if that's just to talk to you. We're gonna, okay, well, that just came over. Look, <laughs> that is your energy card. There it is, yeah, there's the sun card. Ooh, Cancer, yeah. Okay, we're gonna talk about that in a moment. I'm just gonna set it down. But that five coming down with your person's overall energy. Oh, Cancer. Okay, um, there's so much that I want to say to you here. Your person is not let you go. They're really thinking a lot about everything that happened between you and what could still be. They want to change this um, no separation, guys. I have to tell you, even if it's just to talk to you, Cancer. Oh my gosh. Okay, where are we going to put this? I'm going to put this here over by the hangman. And that's the other thing. We'll talk about it in a minute here. Um, but your person has been also in that hermit energy. I have to tell you, it's very, very strong. But your person really um, has gotten a new perspective on things, guys, very, very much. That ton of pentacles, what are the pentacles? Well, they're about commitment. And that can be how committed you are to something and what is the outcome of that. These are 10 pentacles. But guys, um, what I'm really feeling here, I want to tell you, I don't know if you can see <laughs> this little itty bitty card here. But you are on this tapestry here. First of all, the fortress is there right on their wall. They're looking at it. That is the journey of love they have been on with you. Right below that is a tapestry with the two of you. Those are sailboats. All about the direction that you can still go. I have to say, guys, and the, the commitment. The pentacles are about commitment, but they're also about the practicalities is what I want to say. This is your love reading. It is about your relationship and it's about the things that make it the 10, that make it the long term. That's the other thing I want to tell you. They want, the, they envisioned growing old with you, Cancer, is what I want to tell you. So something happened here to interrupt that. Your person has not forgotten it. But what I want to say to you that's coming through very strong already in your reading here, guys, is your person waking up to what um, part they played in it. That's what I want to say. And really wanting to come to you and offer that apology and make it known to you. I do feel like some of you have already been in contact, but especially right now, the energy is super, super, super strong. Your person has got that perspective, I have to tell you. Um, and here's the thing, your first placement, your first card can often be all about you, Cancer, can also be all about your person. And at times, both cards, I want to tell you, can be about the both of you. Very much the hangman is your person today. They're really dreaming about growing old with you, Cancer, I have to tell you. Now, the bigger thing that does come through as well, which is what I felt very early on with the lover's card and the eight of wands, is that your person wants to reach out to you. At the very least, have you in their energy. This closeness, they still feel very close to you. They're thinking about you all the time. 
pretty much every day, I have to tell you. There is some secretive energy here. It can also be that your person is, you haven't been connected for a while and they're not showing you and you haven't known and you've had a lot of questions, then why this, why that? But it's here, we can see it here. But a lot of the practicalities that are coming through for some of you are about, and we're gonna look at this sun card too here, guys, your energy, are about the timing, Cancer. And one of the things about your readings that have been going on, that has been going on, and how can it not go on? It's part of your connection is the divine timing. And we see it here. And we see right before the lover's card, guys, that three of pentacles really kind of, well, collaborating with another person. What is that? That is coming together with somebody and making a plan, talking about things that happen, owning up to things, whatever that is between the two of you is what I want to say to you. And look what it leads us to, right to the lover's card. Also, the thing about the lover's card, um, guys, which you probably know, but if you don't, it can be a lot about needing to make a decision. Um, look at that interesting, guys. The sun and the moon do not exist without each other. That's the first thing I want to tell you. Um, I felt that sun energy coming through in the temperance card, I want to say to you, and we see it here as well. And this is what I wanted to say, guys. That third party, what is that? For the two of you, I have to say it's all about the timing, Cancer. And cross watchers, I have to say to you, it's about the timing. And this decision here, your person is seen now, look, coming over the obstacles here, which turned out to not actually be obstacles. They're actually helping your person get up here, looking at just what we see. Look, this perspective we talked about that they've got in the hangman energy, also here in the temperance energy of seeing, seeing things in a different way. They've always been there. Your person is not unclear about how they feel about you. That is clear. But they're seeing things in a way now that, oh, I might have done this. I might have done that. They're really missing you, Cancer. And this is what I wanted to say as well. Um, this three of pentacles here, kind of coming together with another person and figuring things out together. That is also part of the lover's card. There's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of love here. This is a twin flame soulmate connection. And I have to say to you, if you're not on a twin flame journey, guys, please let it go. It's not for you. But I know I have a lot of twin flames here can also be your soulmate. Maybe you know, maybe you don't. And I feel like your person knows, your person knows that this connection is a, a very deep spiritual connection, something like, it's nothing like they've ever had before. And they cannot stop um, thinking about the things that happened and the mistakes and what they're missing now too. However, they might not know the, the word twin flame. If in fact, you know, some of you know, some of you aren't sure. Uh, most of us know the term soulmates though, but I want to say to you, they might not have a label for it, but they know the connection is strong. And what I didn't finish saying, because your messages are so strong, Cancer, is that it's a decision between the two of you here. And I feel like your person, guys, um, interesting that they came down here. Um, very interesting because Cancer, you are ruled by the moon. Look, in your overall energy sun card, the sun and the moon, um, they belong together. And interestingly, this is not the uh, sun here, but we have the ten of pentacles, this new, this, your person's overall energy. Thinking of you day and night, I have to tell you guys, and especially today here, but what is that decision? What is it that your person wants to talk to you about? I have to say to you, because look, this is the eight of wands, as you see, guys, and eight is all about action and also about accomplishing something, kind of getting a grip on something and just doing it. I feel like your person is pep talking their way to here into just doing it. They might have been writing you, I have to say. I hope this isn't blurry, guys. I have really bad eyes, so I can't really tell. They might have been writing you already. You might have seen something pop up, delete again. Um, you might have written them back even, and then they didn't write again. But I have to say, your person is trying to get the, we don't see the strength card here, but I feel I'm seeing it for you. That strength to want to come to you is what I want to say. It feels very 
like they've woken up here. And we do see the hangman energy, this perspective. I am seeing the star card, um, interestingly enough. Maybe we will channel a few more cards at some point if it doesn't get too far um, in the reading. <laughs> As you know, I go a little long and whoa, that was a very strong Gemini Virgo thing there. Yeah, and that's the thing I wanna say to you, that throat chakra, guys, your person, it's very much a clearing. And I have to tell you, if your person is, gosh, was this a, yeah, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, but especially, I want to say to you, Capricorn or Taurus, but Virgo too, make sure you're checking out and cross-watching their sign or your rising or their rising, especially if they are an, an earth sign, I have to say. Um, it's really good to cross-watch for your chart anyway, and for your person especially, and if you're going to, really, the rising sign is the one to watch. But especially because I tell you, the energy is really, it's a fast-moving month, February. But there's a lot of clearing going on. It's a lot like, well, a lot of what you see in tarot, especially um, when you see them out working in the garden, or you see, um, there's a lot of clearing, like of the weeds away. Time has passed for the two of you. And it's interesting that so much time has passed and then all of a sudden it feels like out of the blue, I have to say to you here, like a a, a rush now. It's like I have to, and I, I've, a lot of that, what I wanna say to you, Cancer, is I feel this really strong energy of your person feeling your energy moving away more so than it has before. That's what I wanna tell you here. But your person, look, Guys, this is the Knight of Pentacles. There is that pentacle right up there, quite literally glowing. Also, somebody here, look, getting that clarity. It's lit up, I want to tell you. Look at those three flowers there. Growth, new beginnings. That's love, guys. And there are three there. What is that telling us? Well, what we already know. Divine timing has been and is a big part of this connection. And I do feel part of your person's um, rushing around here, guys. I'm gonna put your overall energies back for, or put them here for just a moment, is, excuse me, is that timing here? Is your person feeling like you're, you might be pulling away a little bit, Cancer, and it could be for some of you too. Um, this is what's also really interesting. We'll continue, <laughs> your messages are coming very fast, I wanna tell you. We do have the Magician card here, guys. And one of the things I want to tell you about this Magician card is, excuse me, this is your second placement. This is your relationship placement here. But I think a lot of this too, Cancer, is you. And look, there you are, Twin Flame Soulmate Energy, definitely confirmed in this partnership. We know that. And there's a couple of things happening here. Your person is really dreaming about you, I have to tell you thinking about you pretty much every day, really coming to this understanding, knowing what you are, look, um, you have, there's a couple, <laughs> gosh, it's so fast, I have to tell you, Cancer, first of all, you are thinking about your person too, you both are, however, it's kind of like your person knows that you hold their heart, sort of like when somebody says, um, I've got them wrapped around my pinky, and I know that that's not really saying what I want, but it's that energy is what I'm feeling. That your person knows that you're you're doing well is what I want to say, and I think a lot of you are doing things for yourself here. Person is watching you, um, really longingly. I have to say to you, and I feel like they feel your energy moving away because Cancer, this magician energy is in is really strong for you. That's what I want to tell you. Now it is in your relationship placement, which also tells me a couple of things here and the energy that's coming through is your person dreaming about that whole new start with you guys. And if they could um, magically appear and magically make things work, they would. Uh, very, very much here. This 10 of pentacles, look, dreaming of that everything with you, that long term that got interrupted, but they have not fully let go of yet, but this rush that we're feeling here in the Eight of Wands is because they know that a lot of you, your energy is moving fast. You are the chariot card, Cancer, um, very much, and that is a card of movement. Now, it can be that there are 
some obstacles in the chariot card and also can have a lot to do with the two of you having obstacles but that's a lot of part that's a lot of the, excuse me the divine timing here and that's what i wanted to say to you and um, then i got a little bit distracted if you see this dark um this kind of really dark brown horse guys i want to tell you it's a lot like really well and it's not an accident it's the knight of pentacles and it really is about wanting to do the work i have to tell you and also really wanting to win you over. That's the other thing. And humili humility, excuse me. And I feel that so strongly when the reading began and the guitar came down and it landed on the lover card, Cancer, that your person is really kind of, and gosh, this is, you know, um, obviously tarot with lots of dogs. And I want to tell you, it's almost like coming with their, their tail between their legs. And I know that just... It's not really what I want to say, but I, I think you know what I'm trying to say. That humility is coming through strong here, guys. They know what kind of connection this is. They might not have a name for it, I have to tell you, but they know that you are the person that they, they want to grow old with. That's what I want to tell you. Now, is that going to be for everybody? Maybe not. Um, guys, I have to say to you, but please, you have to know, Cancer, your energy is so off the charts um, now, and your person is really thinking a lot about you. And the main thing that is coming through really, really strong that came through from the beginning that's just really, um, I don't know, screaming out at me, I have to say, in many ways, is they just really, really want to connect with you and quickly here. Um, guys, it could be some of you have already received a message and you might have, like I said, for some of you, you might have already talked with your person, but it feels a lot like for those of you that haven't, I have to tell you, your person is dying to contact you. Now look what this dog is wearing. It is a floral, floral laurel <laughs> wreath. That is all about coming together, reunions, I have to tell you, in love here. And there are eight wands. What are the wands? Those are the energy of love. They're leading the way. Um, they're all in unison together. They're in sync. And what is above it? That sun energy. Who is that sun energy? That's you, Cancer. That's you here. And I have to tell you with the sun card, as we know, that really is, um, it's coming to a 10 and it really is the end of a cycle and a new start. And what I also want to tell you, it is the a happy, if you will, outcome. They're dreaming of that with you. It's so super strong. Also in the Knight of Pentacles, really wanting to make it work, wanting to find a way. Now, is it time for everybody? I don't know that it is, guys. This is really divinely timed, this connection. And the thing about divine timing is it really is different for everybody. What's going on with your person? What's going on with you? Other commitments. That's the other thing about the 10 I want to tell you. For some of you, your person, and this can also be you, Cancer, might have other commitments. Now, it's been strong in your readings for a while that there are other people involved. And for a lot of you, too, it's just differences of where you are in your life, just different places in your life. And some of you, I have to say, came together a long time ago and have come back together and might continue to be coming back together. That is the spiritual connection. I have to say your souls find each other also in, in telepathic messages, guys, in your dreams, even if it's not in person, I have to say. Um, but this connection is very... Uh, has been going on for a long time. It has that energy, I have to say to you, of, well, of the Six of Cups, and you've got that more, more than um, enough times in your readings today, and I'm seeing it for you, Scorpio energy. But the thing about the Six of Cups is it's just very nostalgic. And what's really interesting that I feel as well is that for some of you, your person made... A choice a long time ago and thought that they were okay with it and you came back together and they realized wait wait a minute I didn't realize what I was missing here they don't want to miss any more the ten of pentacles is long term everything and that's the ten that's the relationship and the commitment and feeling safe and all the practicalities working out so that you have this future picture now, I, like I said, I feel for some of you, your person, they're looking at that almost like like a tapestry on the wall, like the journey you've been on with the, with the fortress there, like the sailboats, the directions you took a long time ago and that you took, um, that you're taking now. 
But guys, it's super strong and they don't want to waste any more time. That's what I want to tell you. Cancer, <laughs> your readings are always just so um, beautiful and emotional. I feel the sadness. I really feel the sadness here. And I feel this, this need too for your person. Look, um, really wanting to contact you, the sun card guys, wanting that outcome with you. It's very emotional. It's also very, very passionate. And if you look here, there is that red feather, that divinely guided connection here. We see that it's for some of you, it is not time or it hasn't been. And that's the other thing. Look, you have the sunflowers there. Those are about knowing guys, I have to tell you. And there are three sunflowers up here. It's the timing. You both know that the timing has been off a lot for both of you. Then you try to work it out. It doesn't work again. It has been for some of you a cycle, I have to say. But the timing, we see that here, the divine timing. But we also see that one over here, that sunflower, that is in the shade. It is not getting the sun. What do we need? Why do we need the sun? Well, we need the sun and the rain and the, the fertile ground, the earth. We need it all to come together and to grow. It's been, you guys have had, a, it's blocked here is what I want to say to you. And it's been blocked for a while. Um, the sun card is a beautiful card. We know this is a beautiful card and this is your overall energy cancer but I have to say the feeling that's coming through today is that your person feels like they're running out of time that if this sunflower does not get any sun that it's not going to grow and it's going to possibly um, fall down and not be revivable is what I want to say to you this divine timing is just everything in your connection but your person's rate of uh <laughs> the speed is what I want to say is hardcore. <laughs> Why am I saying that word? But that is just what came out. Oh His camera died the there. There is that three again. We know that for you, Cancer. That is the divine timing. Can it be that there are other people involved? Yes, 100% actually, I have to say. Also, maybe even a particular person. For some of you, that could have to do with other partnerships, but we're not going to go too far into that. But what I want to say to you that's just so strong in your reading and has been for a very long time is that divine timing. And your person here also, look, a lot also like here, I want to tell you with the temperance card and with the hangman card here, your person having got that perspective, guys, here's the thing. I feel like they've also been in the hermit card energy that that's been going on for a while. That is a nine, I want to tell you, and can be about things coming to fruition. And here with the hangman, I have to say, this is coming to a three. Your person really wants to express themselves, but they've also been learning about themselves in the separation and realizing some of the things they did or said or didn't do, whatever that is, that they weren't doing before. Um, the breadcrumbing, the ghosting, that, oh, I did that, or what is that, or this is how it affected my person. There's a growth with your person, I have to say, um, and a healing that's also been going on with them. We see that cone. <laughs> we call that with the dogs, right? What? The cone of shame. Your person does feel guilty. We see that. That came so, through so strong in your reading, Cancer. So strong. And there are all these messages at the tip of my tongue. I have to move fast, guys. But I have to tell you, um, they do feel ashamed and they feel guilt here. And they're learning from it and healing. I have to tell you, that cone of shame... They want that off. Some of them may have kicked and screamed it off and, and come out of here, guys. But that hermit energy of things coming to fruition is being flashed. Them kind of that waking up energy. We also see it in the temperance card. We see it kind of everywhere, I have to tell you. Um, it's very, very strong for you. But wanting that off, not just because it's uncomfortable. <laughs> Who wants to sit there with that cone? You know, that's not nice, but... At some point, you know, when you, when you put that on your animal uh, or an animal, they surrender to it because they have to, and they may not understand it's for healing. And that's what I think a lot of what's been going on with your person, that they haven't understood that it's about healing, guys. Also for themselves, there's a lot of shadow work going on between you guys, I have to say to you. But your person doesn't just want it off because they're uncomfortable. They want it off because it's been uncomfortable for you. And they're having this realization of what they, I want to say, owe you an explanation and an apology. Because a lot of this feels like a ghosting that just had been going on, breadcrumbing here, ghosting here. And then it was just sort of like 
no reply, no response, no connection, just a um, gone. And cancer, one of the things that you do is you, you go into that shell. You go deep into that shell and it's really hard to get you out. And you might even get pulled out into the tide here, which is fine. You'll go where you need to go. And the tide will always bring you back, but it might bring you back somewhere else. And you might also fight it when you're out there and have a hard time instead of going with the flow. Because you do think with your, and you know, cancer, you're a crab, you're in the ocean, you're in the water. It's the divine, the ocean, the divine, the water. Very emotional, very, very emotional. I have to say to you, uh, you can be salty too. <laughs> and when you are hurt, you can hold on to stuff forever. You hold on to it forever, I have to say. And that is something too um, with you is that it has been very hurtful for you. And one of the things that you did, I feel, is you went the cancer way. You pulled back. You fought and fought with the tide. You came in, you were somewhere else. You came in, you were back there again. You were somewhere else. You've just been struggling with that and starting to get stronger. We see here with the magician card, your person is feeling your energy. And I'm not saying, well, you're strong now. So now they're coming back. But we do send out energy and vibes. So I feel like it's sort of up to you whether you want to even communicate. Can I tell you that they're coming and there's an offer and you're going to grow old together? I can't, guys. I can't. Outcomes do change. As I said, we know this. Everybody has free will. We can't force people. Um, your person has free will as well. But I have to say the... The, the little bit of the shame, and I, I just, that word carries a lot of weight, so I want to be careful how I use it, but we see it here, and the guilt, they're uncomfortable, because they're also uncomfortable because they're being forced to, to feel their wounds, to feel the pain also here, and the uncomfortableness of the cone of shame, and why it is, why is it there, what needs to heal, what do I need to see, what needs to grow, and that's the other thing here, guys, I want to tell you with the hangman card, is that coming to the three, and a three can also be a lot about growth, I want to tell you, and internal growth with your person, and we see it here, it's very emotional, um, they've been hiding things, I have to tell you, it's just very, look at the, the emotional energy, and look at the waterfall too, the interesting thing about that, waterfalls and rivers, they move fast here, and we see your person wanting to move fast, figuring this stuff out, but they carry things too, is what I want to tell you, they pick up debris, and and clear them. Um, that's what I, <laughs> it's very strong. However, we do have a little pool here and you can see there's a lot caught up in it. Your person hasn't been getting the clearing that they wanted here, but they're desperately wanting it and they're beginning to see things in a different way. And some of the things that they have done or haven't done that affected you, especially you cancer, because your energy is just so um, you put so much love into the world. You just, oh, it's making me cry for you. Cancer. Okay, wait. <laughs> you put so much love out there into the world is what I want to tell you. Guys, your person knows that about you and did take that for granted, I have to say. Um, but this distance here and also it just seeing you in your power as well and your energy is hard for them. Because they're realizing as a cancer, even if you're hiding it too, which some of you are, because you're so emotional, they're expecting constantly to maybe get a message or to hear. So when you go quiet, especially for a long time, your person starts to ruminate and think about things as well. I do feel like for a lot of you guys, it's been a really long time, but your person's kind of waking up into that energy. And part of that, I have to say, guys, is this year of the water tiger energy. It's just very strong this year. Drastic changes that your person here has seen. Look, they're here on that three, guys, that growth again, having learned a lot about some things that they didn't realize they needed to learn, that three wanting to express themselves, that three realizing the timing here. Look what they're doing. They're climbing up and they're wanting to show you, look, look, Cancer, look at, look at that path. Look what I found. I found a way out. And that's what I want to say to you guys. Um, Cancer, gosh, here, things are moving around and I'm I'm moving them back, which is interesting. That's not something I normally do, but temperance does want to be there. And this is what I wanted to say here. Interesting that the Eight of Cups is coming down 
Because your person is saying here, look, 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 there's a way out, Cancer. And guys, with that three of pentacles, it really is about coming together with another person and working things out, like teamwork, really. We see it also here in the lover's card, obviously. Super deep love. We know that the sun can't exist without the moon. Your overall energy is the sun today, guys. Your person loves you. Your person is not let go of you and has not stopped thinking about you and they're looking for a way and it feels fast. And as I said, with this eight of wands here, it feels frantic almost because they're realizing the time that they have wasted as well and the things that they couldn't understand where you were coming from before, they're understanding that now. And what's really interesting, guys, is here with the Eight of Cups, this Pisces energy, two things here. It got moved. It traveled and moved underneath um, the Three of Pentacles here. A couple of things. One, here, with that Eight, I want to tell you that is an action card. And your person, as we talked about, is feeling this energy from some of you that have been kind of moving away and moving away, going out with the tide and maybe relaxing a little because I feel like you have been cancer really trying to get just really busy with other things here with the magician card too and getting a handle on your emotions. Now, I love your sensitivity and emotions. It's beautiful. Most of you are empaths and intuitive. You might even be deeper, deeper involved in the spiritual world, even other than just watching tarot and um, being into eso, um, esoteric um, living. But I mean, like, you could be doing it yourself as well. But anyway, what I want to say to you is your energy is very strong. Cancer, your energy goes out into the world, and especially for people who love you. And your person feels it. And that's why I think a lot of this frantic energy is going on, because they feel that you are, you're moving away a little energetically. Um, for a lot of you, you're not writing them as much as you were. You're maybe not responding as fast if you do, or you might have been really silent for a while. And some of you have even blocked your person, I have to say. And you might have unblocked and blocked here, but your person is feeling that energy, guys. They know that's the other thing here. They know that they abandoned you, really. They just left you here with all these unanswered questions. Why are these cups empty when there's all this emotional um, right here? It's right here to get. Why are they empty? Why did you, that eight, that action, why did you just ghost me and leave, guys? And it's interesting here. Look, there is that sun and moon again. The sun cannot exist without the moon. The moon cannot exist without the sun. This tree of life here is lit up by this, guys. Um, look at, now here's the thing that's very interesting. Your person is, if we were kind of looking into their mind at what they're imagining you're doing, they're imagining that this is how they left you. Sitting here looking out, I want to tell you, off into the, the horizon, into all the, the tumultuous uh, mountains here, the work that you were putting into it, and now sort of resigned to the fact that they left. And you're left with these empty cups here. And you're gonna, eventually going to have to move. And you're, some of you have been in this for a really long time. And as a Cancer, I, like I said, in that crab energy, you can go in and out of it. But you're getting closer to leaving for good, some of you, and your person knows that, and they're nervous. And it, it's like if they could peek in and say, look, is my, it's like they peek in. Look, I, and then this is so silly, but really, is my Cancer still there? Let me look. Is my cancer still there? <laughs> a lot of that is through friends or family or social media or finding a way, maybe even for some of you, um, trying to bump into you if you are in fact near each other. That's not the case for everybody. I know that, especially I feel that energy here. But your person, it's not that they want you to be here. They just didn't understand it. You're a very beautiful, sensitive a person, soul. You wear your heart on your sleeve when you love people. Boy, you can sometimes get a little bit needy <laughs> and possessive, but your love is just so beautiful and real, and you give it so freely that when things are even falling apart or somebody's leaving, you might still just hang on and hang on so that when you take away that emotional support and somebody starts to feel that energy, 
kind of freak out a little. And that is what I feel like is happening. And a lot of that has to do with this year, guys. I have to say to you, it's just a... Um, it's a very intense, drastically changing year. Your person is checking in. Is my cancer still there? Is my cancer still there? And they're terrified you won't. And that even worse, you might take those cups with you guys. You might take those cups with you and fill them. And I hope that you do whatever you're doing in your life, whether you're coming back with them or moving on or you already have, I hope you fill those cups. You fill those cups for you, Cancer, because those are yours. They're your cups. You fill them up. And I think a lot of you have. So I feel like I might sound like a broken record. <laughs> but you have. Look, you have this magician energy here, guys. Uh, very much everything I have to say to you, all the elements are here. Um, just really working on your friendships here. Some of you may be even looking for new love, but what's really strong is I keep seeing the strength card, but it's not here, is loving yourself and really trying to do things for yourself as well, which is, I hope that, I hope you are there. I hope you're staying in that, but your person feels that. Um, I love this for you here, and you really do... Well, look, you're holding this heart here. Not only do, um, do you have, I want to say, your person's heart. You may not even realize that, but look, you both have each other's. It's right here. The heart is right on the hand and right here with the infinity symbol, guys. That is the, the spiritual connection, whatever that is for you. Twin flame, soulmate energy. And really, it is different for everybody. But what is not different is that, is that is the infinity sign. That is on and on. That is a long-term thing here. Again, I see the Six of Cups for you. That eight um, here also, that infinity comes into an eight. I want to say to you that action here. Um, a lot of stuff going on here in this magician energy. Your person dreaming of that whole new start, guys. And again... They have the Ten of Pentacles in their overall energy, and that is just everything. And the Three of Pentacles here, as we see your person wanting to show you that. Look, we can take that. And guys, it can be very much here with this Lover's Card energy. First of all, the love they have for you, Cancer, is... Kind of otherworldly, I have to say to you. I, I probably used that word for the first time in Capricorn's reading. That's coming through if your person is a Capricorn. But I have to say it really is an otherworldly love. Your person having all kinds of wake-up energy here, I have to say, and really fear that you're taking off, that, that you're, you might be leaving or gone for good. They want to show you this path. And that lover's card really wanting to tell you what you could um, come together and talk about what you maybe could do or just even talking to you guys. That Eight of Wands energy is so fast here. That is that eight again as well. There we see it. And again, wearing that laurel floral wreath of reunion. Can it be a knock on the door? Maybe. But I don't think that's for everybody. For a lot of you, it's just that they want to reach you. They want a new start. They want a chance to explain things, guys. It's very strong here. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles and also the hangman energy of what they're coming out of with that cone of <laughs> shame on here. We have the magician card here. This temperance energy, your person knows. Um, and they're starting to see it now because everything, the debris of what has happened between you did not float away and get carried away. It is fast moving here, but it stopped. It's in front of them. They, they have the shame. They don't want to look at it, but they're getting ready to, I have to tell you. With that Knight of Pentacles energy, really wanting to do the work and be successful in what they're doing, coming to you, even if that's just to get across the apology that we saw at the very, very beginning with the guitar here. And the lover's card was there, and look what moved there, that Eight of Cups energy. They know um, how they left you, I have to say to you guys. And they know that they want to be able to reach you and say the things that they know they've needed to say for you. Say to you, excuse me, for a long time. And again, Cancer, you have that sun energy here in your overall energy, in your person, that ten of pentacles here. 
that everything, that grow old together energy. And I feel like for a lot of you, it might have been that your person kind of repressed that for a while and made some other choices, guys. But they've been in this hangman energy with that <laughs> cone of shame for a while. Um, but it's moving fast now. Things are moving fast. Cancer. 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 Your person is sorry. Your person loves you. And it feels like it's coming in fast that they're going to tell you. And yeah, um, that humility is very strong here of them knowing it. Oh, Cancer. Cancer, your reading is, as always, your readings are always very beautiful, I have to tell you. But it feels particularly intense today. I feel like your person can't can't get to you fast enough. That's what I want to say. And look, the lover's card has now traveled. <laughs> oh, gosh, you guys. Okay. Um, I'm just going to send these messages through and then we're going to move on because Cancer, you know I do this. This is what I do. I just channel, channel, channel. And I know a lot of readers here um, turn them into extendeds and whatnot. And maybe someday... Um, but that's not where we're at. I'm, these are yours. And I want to say to you, everything traveled here. Not everything, but a lot of things traveled. Your person, as we talked about, getting that perspective here and that hangman energy, really uncomfortable having to look at themselves and realize why do they have that on? What do they need to heal? And who do they need to heal? They're coming out of that knowing, guys. Look, they're about ready to fall off it here. There's that bird. I want to tell you guys also really making things lighter. They're really listening to things that they haven't been before is what I want to say to you. And they want to express that to you. That comes through with the hangman card desperately. Their growth here. Um, and guys, now the lover's card is right below it. They're wanting to express it and have a conversation with you about the two of you. And they're also wanting to tell you what you mean to them. The lover's card has moved here, guys. It's right below the hangman energy of your person wearing that cone of shame, just being uncomfortable and wanting to get out of there and come and tell you what they have learned, what they have seen here, because we see in the lover's card that somebody is afraid. And I am seeing the moon card, which is, you know, wow, I have to say to you that a moon card is Pisces energy, but Cancer, you also come through, Gemini as well. But the fear in your, your person there, guys, and that moon energy, and here's the thing, there, there's no gender, first of all, okay, in, in, in tarot. And in my readings, I need to tell you that there can be some energies, um, but there is no gender. And I have to say, it just was really strong here in the card that your person is sort of um, in this sun card energy, very interestingly enough, and you're both looking up, but your person is too, and that's not always the case with all tarot cards. And I have to say, there is a really strong night connection. And the thing about the moon, I'm seeing it, is that there is the crayfish there that is sort of trying to send somebody a message and say, you've got to look at some things here. And that is why I'm feeling this really strong moon energy from your person. And it can be Pisces, Cancer, uh, Gemini here, but also that I have to say to you too, the star card has been coming through really strong Aquarius energy, but that just figuring things out here as we see here in the hangman energy and your person wants to express that to you is what I want to tell you that they've kind of realized some things and they want you to know and they want to have a conversation with you and maybe open things up even if it's just to have you back in their energy in their life through messages, which you used to do a lot of, I have to say. Um, and for a lot of you, into the night here, it's very strong. But that subconscious, they have been looking at it. And they've been really scared to, but getting over that fear, I have to say, it's very strong cancer and look. <laughs> now the lover's card has traveled here in your very first card cancer cancer oh my gosh okay you guys um what else did i want to say to you i wanted to tell you that eight of cups energy that we talked about of you moving on of your person seeing that and being scared and look what got um this date here but that eight of cups there moving there right below it that eight of wands 
the energy of love, guys, and the Eight of Wands. Of course, Sagittarius energy, but wanting to change things. And what was the first thing we saw when we pulled the overall energy? We saw the Five Guys, and that is about change. That's also about changing what? Things that were that were un, that weren't stable. Things that were the conflict between two people. Very much wanting to change that. It's so super strong here that I don't even know <laughs> how much more I can say it. But your person is nervous that you're not going to be here. They don't want that they've hurt you, but they have. It has moved here, which is just fascinating, guys, because this is the naughty corner, as you would say in my readings. It's kind of, as we talked about, where if you watch my readings, you know where people go and they, they kind of have to face something. Very interesting since the hangman was your original first card here. But now having that eight of cups here, um, they're feeling like they need to move fast here with that eight. And there is that shame that we see here also in the hangman. And we see it here also in the eight of cups. They're realizing where they left you and things that they should have said. And it landed here right with the guitar, which came through today in your reading, the last minute, but very, at the start of the reading, as we talked about, an apology. Your person wants to offer you an apology, Cancer, uh, desperately here uh, for this, for that Eight of Cups energy. They're doing it out of sincerity, I have to tell you, out of the love for you and their realizations. But there is a little bit of self, um, what is that word I'm looking for? You're probably saying it. <laughs> a little bit for themselves too here because they want to have you back in their life. They want your energy back. They feel your energy pulling away here. You've been working out a lot of things here. And that's the other thing too that does come through, I have to say. Guys, uh, we've already talked a lot about your person here with the temperance, the Sagittarius energy, by the way, but the temperance card. But also you here in the Three of Pentacles and the Temperance card. Your person also, I have to say, and look what's interesting, this message came through now because the Eight of Cups moved there, of you looking and saying, I I'm, I'm taking, I'm going. And somebody here is like a little bit oblivious here. Somebody else is right here wanting to follow. Is that your person, Cancer? What is that? It, could it be somebody else? Your person isn't even aware, or maybe they are, and that's part of the thing going on here, that some of you might jump over that and take that path. Some of you may have already, and it does really come through strong with the Magician card, as I said. And, you know, it, you just look at it and you know a, lo a whole lot of daydreaming about each other, a whole lot of having everything together. Also, that Ten of Pentacles overall energy, that Sun card, that outcome, the passion, the emotion, the friendship here. Oh, my gosh. Some of you might be feeling like, well, it's time I'm taking that path. And that's also partly why here, because of the imbalance that we also see here with the temperance card. Guys, it's been super emotional for you. And that message is coming through as things travel that for a lot of you, too, you've kind of had a lot of epiphanies here and wanting a different outcome for yourself, I have to say. And that makes your person nervous. And that's partly why the Eight of Cups has traveled there with the apology and right next to the three of pentacles. A, because your person wants to communicate that through to you, that they're seeing things now and what could we possibly do? The lover's card was there, but now the eight of cups is there and your person is nervous. They're, they're peeking in, are, are you there? Don't go, please don't go for good. And they're really terrified for some of you, I have to say that haven't completely maybe cut them um, out, either physically or digitally, I want to say, but they're always checking to make sure that you haven't. Um, so that's a really interesting energy that has come through. Whoops, okay. I'm going to put your overall energies back in your swans. Okay, guys, we are going to channel a guardian angel reading card. You have your wings here today, and I just, who Cancer, your reading has been very beautiful, I have to say, and also a little sad. I do feel that sadness from you, but a lot less than I have. I have to say the light is changing as I send this. So you hang on to that magician energy that is yours and you do what you need to do here, whatever that is, okay? Um, but it's strong. It's very strong. And I feel your persons too, and I feel for them because, you know, it's like with the dogs. They don't really... 
um, under, oh, and I keep pointing at that because that is where the, <laughs> the hangman was, is your lover's card. Interesting here. But your person didn't understand, like, like kind of like with, with, when you put that cone on the dogs, they don't really get it. Eventually they, they either rip it off and they don't heal and they don't learn the lesson that they need to learn, guys, that growth we see in the number three here. That is a lot about growth, I have to tell you, in numerology. And sometimes they surrender to it, and they're willing to wear it and heal, and they might realize they're feeling better and go, oh, maybe no or maybe not no, but they're feeling better. Now they, the, the cone can come off and they can come down. And that is what I feel is the process has been with your person too. They had a lot of painful lessons for themselves and some of them might still be here, I do have to say. Um, but the different energies, the different lives that you have going on, guys, is strong. And divine timing, it just really is for you, Cancer. It's just not for everybody. Win is what I wanted to say. Okay, thank you, spirit guides, angels and ancestors. I did not get to say thank you for our guardian angel reading card and let's see what's going on here today angel of comfort yeah guys okay there's a lot of things i want to say to you here first of all i want to tell you that is that number six again which is very strong in your person wanting to bring you some peace we talked about that an apology there's a little bit of self, that's the word that I wanted to have. There's a little, um, find, excuse me. I don't like using those words. Um, I just don't because there's just, it's a loaded word to say selfish. But I feel like there are a little bit of selfish reasons for your person because they want to get out of this cone <laughs> um, here and feeling this imbalance and having to look at all the stuff that collected all the emotional turmoil they caused you cancer. So I see that as well with the apology, but I also do feel it's sincere here. Cancer, this angel of comfort, wanting to offer you that apology that we saw very, very early on in the reading when the lover's card was here. Wanting to offer you that comfort because Cancer and that apology and that explanation you didn't get because Cancer, there is a lot of love here. Your person loves you. It's been so strong when you're reading this sun and this moon together. The sun and the moon don't always show themselves at the same time, but they're always there and they do not, they cannot exist without each other. And your person is terrified here, guys. I'm wearing this high cancer. <laughs> I don't know how much got picked up. So I'm just going to begin again here because the battery um, was out. But cancer, that angel of comfort, as we talked about early on, very early on in the reading, when the guitar came down very at the very, very start of your person wanting to offer you an apology. And as you know, that is where the lover car lover's card was, guys. Um, it has since traveled into your very first placement. Why are they wanting to offer it? Well, there's a little bit of selfishness, I want to say. It's a very loaded word. They have this cone on and it's not comfortable, um, but it's required for healing. It's required to um, see things and, and to heal and move on before you can take off that cone. So there's a selfish energy too of them wanting to offer an apology because they just really want to talk to you and relieve themselves and take that cone off. But there is also the love there. Your person really loves you. That sun and moon energy is so strong in your reading of them not existing without the other. And that is the spiritual aspect of your connection, guys, which we've seen very strong here. That is the super strong connection that you guys have had and will always have regardless of the paths you take, I have to tell you. There is that selfish energy a little of offering that comfort. That six is coming up again. Also a lot about peace and harmony, guys, with another person. Also that guitar there. Wanting to offer you an apology and explanation. Again, a little bit of that selfish energy. Self self gosh, I can't even say the word now. Gosh, and my eyes are itchy too. Yeah, this wake up energy. Cancer, you're reading. <laughs> but the lover's card, because they love you, Cancer. They love you and want to offer you that too because they love you. Little bit of that energy there, we see it. That magician energy too, guys. Well, both daydreaming about each other, but your person knows that you're also in this energy and they feel it. And that is what I wanted to say to you and why they're coming in here so fast here with that eight of wands, guys, okay? Wanting to connect with you however they can get to you, I have to say, because two things here. One, 
They see this three here, guys, this three of pentacles. You see that climbing over that, wanting to look at you and say, look, I see something we might be able to do here. Also that lover's card energy coming through. But also as this, as your cards have been traveling, you here too, maybe taking that path, your person really anxious and nervous about it. They know you're in that magician energy cancer. They may have seen it on social media. And even if they haven't, they've definitely felt it. And they know here with that Eight of Cups what happened. Of course they know. They know how they left you. It, here, look at that. They're afraid. They're terrified that you're just not going to be in their life at all. And even if it means just coming and having this friendship with you and having this whatever connection they can get, guys, they're going to try here. If they haven't already, I have to say cancer. We've talked so much about it. With that Knight of Pentacles, guys, I'm really like ready, coming, ripping that cone off <laughs> and coming here on that horse, quite literally here. Some of them may be wanting to jump over that divine timing, but woo, that energy, guys, of wanting to reunite with you, whether it's in person or just simply talking to you is so strong. And the shame is here and the humility your person feels it is a little selfish. I feel that. But I also feel they're genuine and they want to offer that to you. They just didn't see it before. But they're seeing it now, guys. They're seeing it. They know here with the temperance energy, the imbalance. They know the imbalance, guys. Or they're owning up to it now. That sun card, your overall energy, your person, it's ten of pentacles just dreaming about what happened and what could have been and what maybe they could still have with you, pointing, saying, look, look at that path. And it's for some of you, it's the opposite. You're saying, look, look at that path. I'm out of here. And your person, as we talked about, is checking. Is cancer still there? Is cancer still there? Is cancer still there? If I do this work, Will I be successful? Will I win them back? Can I even have cancer in my life? Will they just be in my life again? Cancer. <laughs> cancer, your reading is what it always is. I have to say to you, it's beautiful. And there are just so many. Look, and your cards are going back here, guys. There's so much confirmation here that your person has not let you go. And I know they've been quiet. That's what I wanted to say to you. Interesting look. Um, the Eight of Wands now moving here. <laughs> oh, Cancer. They just, I don't think your person fully understood everything. There was some arrogance um, going on for a long time and push and pull between the two of you, maybe even some blocking and words said, that sort of thing. But I think it has a lot to do, as I said, look, it's going back into the to first here, guys. Interesting. And your hangman is here now. The, the year, the 2022 year of the water tiger, your person realizing here, guys. Okay, we're not going to bring these through, but look, now the magician has come right below the lover's card. Uh, that is just a whole, uh, that is just all kinds of... Um, making a dream into a reality energy here, guys. Very, very much. The hangman moving into the second placement into your relationship, the perspective your person has got here and jumping on that horse and wanting to show you that, wanting to tell you what they have learned here, what they have learned here with this um, hangman, guys, that three here, the Knight of Pentacles, all about that, wanting to do the work, wanting to share that with you, saying, look, 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 I know things have been unbalanced. I, I haven't wanted to look at them, but I'm going to come in here before you leave. Cancer. <laughs> okay, I'm stopping now, guys. I have to. <laughs> I have to. I'm channeling this, by the way, on Valentine's Day, and I think your person is just all kinds of in your energy here. Oh, Cancer. Okay, we're going to continue on with love messages, guys. And, you know, you might watch this, and you may even see me live later, I have to say. I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I've been setting up to go live for you today, but my daughter is not well. Um, 
And yeah, so it just kind of derailed me, but I might be able to do it still. I am sort of separate where I am down here on the very bottom floor <laughs> here in the tarot closet, guys. Love messages. These are direct messages to you, beautiful Cancer, from your person. If you feel you are sending these messages, it resonates for you in that way. Please go with that. It's about what resonates for you, Cancer. Things can come in vice versa for you. Can be there are things that resonate and things that don't. You throw away what doesn't. You take what's yours and you use that to live your best life. To get the clarity you need, the peace in your heart, guys. Regardless of anything here, you have the magician card here in your reading. I love that for you. And even this eight of cups here. Things being possibly left behind for some of you, I have to say, whether it's in this connection or something else, things coming out of that, guys, into the light, taking those cups and filling them up. You know, I just want to say to you, it's about perspective. And we also see that with that hangman energy, having moved here right into your second placement, the perspective, it's what is your perspective, guys? How do you see things? Do we see them half full, half empty? When the tide comes, do you see it as an opportunity to be taken out and come back into a different a, a different mindset because the tide has washed you back in somewhere else? Or do you see it with the clawing you um, clawing your way as it takes you out? It's all about perspective here. Change is difficult, but it's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna stop. I don't know why I just <laughs> went off there, but I did. It's because I love you, Cancer. And your energy is beautiful. There's two cards here, and that was my stomach growling. Excuse me. I'm always thinking of you. Yeah, um, we know that. Super, super, super strong energy here. I'm sorry that it took a breakup to make me realize how I just can't live without you. This energy is so strong that I can't even tell you here, um, especially with those, those being the first cards that came out. Look, this is being pushed off. You are my destiny. Guys, I just have to show you this here. That overall energy from your person. You are my destiny. That is the everything here, guys. The Ten of Pentacles. Your person knows that in that lover's card. Energy here. They have figured it out. In that hangman energy. That cone. <laughs> they have had to get perspective and heal and figure things out. This magician energy here, dreaming of that everything with you here, everything here, guys. That taking that that dream and that's and making it the destiny here, which we also see in the Ten of Pentacles, wanting to come in here, guys. Even if it's just to get you close to them again, even if it's virtually, I have to say and tell you what they've learned where you guys could possibly go together, whether it's a physical journey or an emotional one here, but they're showing you what they've learned. They're showing you that path. They may have found another way. What do you want, Cancer? Well, they wanna get in contact with you and really quickly, it's so frantic, the energy. It's so frantic, Cancer. They don't want you to leave here. They're checking. They're checking, I think, daily. Oh, Cancer, I know that happens. I just feel drawn to bring up your reading again, I have to tell you. Good luck. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put things where they want to go, guys. Yeah, it's pretty much the same position, so nothing has really changed there, which is good because... <laughs> This reading is very long. Where do we want to put this? I'm going to put this here with the lover's card and the magician. You are my destiny. Okay. And don't worry. You know that these spaces will be filled up in no time at all. My biggest mistake was to think that I'd, I'll be okay without you. I'm not. I never will be. Yeah, that's super, super strong. 
interesting thing again about that angel of comfort is they want it for themselves too, guys. They want to get out of that cone, <laughs> but they really do want it for you. I do feel this loving energy to Cancer. They know that they have really hurt you and um, really wanting to frantically come in for selfish reasons so you don't just disappear forever from their lives, um, from their life but also to bring you the peace that they should have brought you a long time ago. That's what I want to say to you. Okay, look. <laughs> These are yours. No, I am not over you. We know that, but that's a nice confirmation for you, Cancer. Just like how I can't stop breathing, even if I try, I can't stop loving you no matter how much I cry. Interesting, Cancer. There have been some tears, I know, from your side, but also your person here. A lot of hiding stuff. I think your person has had this realization for a long time, um, but hasn't come to you. Might have been, too, that some of you had some messages and... Uh, just but it was surfacey and you don't you don't do surfacey you know you're a crab like you're like in that shell and you go down and um you you know the water is your 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 life's playground <laughs> i want to say emotions that's how you live your life here you live um, and make decisions through your feelings and your emotions which can get dangerous so you be careful but it's a beautiful thing I wasn't even looking when I found you. <laughs> well, yeah, a serendipity has always played a part in your connection, Cancer, I have to say. And I do feel like you kind of came out of nowhere. And for some of you, it was again and again. That's what I want to say to you. Okay, that was... I'm not over you because I don't want to be. Being together with you is all I can see. Hug, kiss, hug, kiss. Or is it kiss hug? <laughs> I always forget. Please forgive me. That is my um, my tummy growling, you guys. Um, I know. It's Valentine's Day, as we know. And I'm sending you love. You, you love on yourself, okay? Wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Or love on those fur babies or those children or your family, your friends. Or, or yourself. Yourself anyway. That's what I want to say. It's not really a thing here in Austria, Valentine's Day. But... My husband did get me a cake, <laughs> kind of a big little cake, which I did not need, but yummy. <laughs> I feel you so at home. I feel so at home with you. Yeah, just feeling like they can be themselves here. And that's another thing. Your person really misses your friendship, Cancer. And as we talked about way early on in the reading, they miss your energy, that emotional exchange. That... That um, also for, there is no gender in tarot, but I want to say that that Gaia, um, there's that mother motherly energy that's very strong. It's very strong, in your, and that is very strong with the Cancer. And your person is just feeling that loving energy, and they're missing it because you guys, as we talked about, have been kind while well, you've been hiding it. It's not easy for you, but boy, when you're hurt, can you go in that shell for a long time, even if you're torturing yourself in there which I hope you're not but I know it happens um, not to come out and give them what you want to give them but your person feels that disconnect they're feeling your energy slipping away cancer that's what I want to tell you this longing for you is intense cancer it is your it's coming through really strong and and fast your person here having this made her wake up call after wearing that cone. <laughs> I mean, you can only be in that cone for so long, you know? And well, there's a flyer. It's hard to wait around for the healing. I'll make things right. I do feel that energy, guys. I do feel it that your person wants to offer that apology. I have to say that is very strong cancer. It might not be that it's time for you guys. And if you're going to at all, choose to be with your person or it works for you guys to come together whenever that is. But I do want to say to you, your person wants to make that right. The things that were wronged here. This is also yours. Please take me back. Oh, Cancer. <laughs> yeah, I, they want you back, the en your energy back too. I have to just say, just being in your life at whatever capacity. Okay, I don't feel a last chance coming, guys. It feels like they've already had it. So I'm just going to stop 
reading from there, but it is time for channeled song messages, direct messages to you from your person through song. And I want to say to you, if, if, if you feel you're sending the song, please go with that. Then that's how it's meant to be. Can be your song comes down, can also simply be a word, a lyric, a line, location, a name. It's been so lonely without you here, like a bird without a song. Nothing compares to you, Sinead O'Connor. Oh gosh, yeah, look. That is the hangman energy, Cancer. That is so the hangman energy here. Yeah, your, your person got so much perspective, I have to say to you. Just one moment, my battery is about to die. My cancer. <laughs> so I got a new battery in there. Let me just fix it so that your lights aren't completely out of the picture. Things did change a little bit, guys, when I when I um, changed the battery. So I'm trying to work on that actually, so that won't be happening anymore. Okay, let's get going. Look, this just got left behind when I picked up your deck. And I didn't get a chance to say to you, I didn't get to finish saying to you, that perspective that your person has received here. We've talked so much about it, so I won't go back into it. But there it is. There it is. Um, that is the nothing compares to you confirmation here. That hangman energy perspective that they got, which we went over already. Some things just, some things just make sense. And one of those is you and I. Some things just... Some things just make sense. And even after all this time, I'm still into you, Julia Shear. Yeah. Let me know. 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 At your best, you are love, Aaliyah. Let me know. Did your person already send you a message, Cancer? You're getting telepathic messages. There's questions here. It can be for some of you, you're asking that question, I have to say. But Cancer, it's very strong. Well, okay. But you had to go, I know. I know, I know. Like a wave that crashed and melted on the shore. I know the end, Phoebe Bridgers. Okay, guys, um, this is being pushed out. I want to say to you, I also want to say to you, that is a lot of that energy we talked about. You, Cancer, with that crab, that shell being taken by the shore. And what are, what is one of the things I just said um, moments ago about some of you with that going with the flow and that coming in it, taking you out to shore and going with the change. For some of you, you really might be um, done here, just in physical connection, I have to say. That is not for everybody. But your person feels your emotional connection. They feel your energy moving away. That's what I want to tell you. And it really is here, a confirmation. But you know, but you had to go, I know. I know, like a wave that crashed and melted on the shore. I know the end. Your person is terrified, guys. We've talked about it a lot here. And look at the angel wings right on top of the selenite, the Taurus energy. Um, divinely guided, we know that also. And it's right on top of this waking up energy here with the selenite, I have to say to you, very high vibrational. And also wanting to be here right on the Knight of Pentacles, guys. Um, wow, seeing that. That commitment here, knowing what they weren't were doing and weren't doing here, wanting to talk about it with you guys. Um, gosh, that work here with that horse, I have to say, and that humility is very strong. Did we look at this? No, but um, I almost was going to put it down before we read it. Here we are again. Circles never end. How do I find the perfect fit? soulmate natasha beddingfield guys yeah i have to say to you your person here um, may have also been very there it is okay yeah i'm putting that here um with them knowing the phoebe uh, bridgers one as i said they may not have a name they may not understand they might uh, most people know the the term soulmate they do know that things are um, they're very connected to you, I have to tell you. But I have to say, I think that they have been um, maybe 
making other decisions and maybe a long time ago too i have to say for some of you they made one they didn't really understand what they wanted until now they're starting to come into it i have to say we see that here with the circles we talked about that for some of you the cycles of them maybe even going to other people and just really trying to look for their spiritual other half i want to say guys their mirrored soul, their twin flame, their soulmate energy, whatever that is, I want to tell you. Um, but they just weren't in the right places and they're figuring it out now. How do I find the perfect fit? Well, they know here. I'm wanting to send that through too because I want to say to you, it was indecisive energy. And also for some of you, there is a strong energy that they made other choices and maybe even before you and realizing now that that's not what they want anymore. They're, it's been a real journey for them, a lot of healing, a lot of lessons being learned. Some of them might still be in that cone, <laughs> but I don't feel like it. I feel like they've come out of it already a, lo a lot more healed, I have to say. And some of them might have ripped it off and not quite yet. And it might there might need to be some caution there. Look, this is pushing off. It's such a shame for us to part. Nobody said it was easy. The scientist Coldplay. Yeah, guys, there's more of that energy. I'm putting it here. All right, this is yours. And I hope life will treat you kind. And I hope that you have all that you ever dreamed of. Oh, I do wish you joy. And I wish you happiness. But above all this, I wish you love. I love you. I will always love you. Oh, Cancer. <laughs> Cancer, we know this. You're my destiny. The lover's card here. I'm not going to go over it all again, guys. We're just, you know, going to talk about it briefly. The Ten of Pentacles there is their overall energy. The Sun card is yours. The Magician card here, wanting, just dreaming about you guys, knowing what they did. They got the cone here on their head, <laughs> being forced to heal and get that perspective. And they have, they're wanting to show you here. Look, look at that path. I want to tell you, I want to tell you. I know things weren't balanced. I know what I did and I want to own up to it here with that Knight of Pentacles, guys. There's that commitment. There is that horse here just wanting to be have some humility is what I want to say but they really really want to reach you even if it's just to have you in their life with that eight of wands cancer cancer because they know that some of you have already gone or you're on the way out they feel your energy pulling away cancer um before I have to say your energy was still there and now it's just been a really long quiet period and they're terrified that you're leaving and they're coming so fast, so fast. Cancer. The other thing I want to tell you, that is a very strong energy as well that I did have in the Taurus reading. So if your person is a Taurus or possibly it's in your chart, your person's chart, something for you definitely to check out. It was a very, very fast energy, I have to say to you. Okay, guys, um, look, <laughs> things are changing, but I'm putting them down here where Spirit is guiding me to put them down. But we're not going to read any more messages here. Interesting how all that happened. And look at the mess I've made. I know. I'm sorry. Um, I do apologize. It was so nice, wasn't it? <laughs> it was nice while it lasted until Chris got a hold of everything. And oh, yeah, that's what I do, guys. Um, I get very messy here because when messages want to come through, I just have to move fast. And look, this is coming off. Another one of those no chance to last chance your person. It's just here. As God is my witness, I try to be strong, but my twin, I'm on fire. Don't string me along, flame twin Nora Jones. Oh, here's the thing I want to tell you, your person for sure, I have to say. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, but it's a very strong energy, guys, for those of you on the journey that you know you are. But I also feel some of you sending it because your person wanting to come in so strong here and you're so hesitant, Cancer, in your shell, saying, are you sure? Um, because I do feel that your person has been a little wish-washy and there's some arrogance for sure, some selfishness, some other choices, some things they want to apologize for, but, but 
caution to the wind, not throwing caution to the wind, excuse me. Um, for some of you, you are a little nervous about this, your person being wishy-washy and cycling here. I'm telling your person that because it takes a lot. If you've already been pulling away and you come back, it's going to be hard for you. And then I feel like that is what's coming through. Okay, guys, the Tarot Closet channeled love messages. Look, now these um, dropped, but this did not. Yeah, I feel your energy. We've been talking about this just pretty much nonstop here, guys. Cancer, cross watchers, your person does feel your energy, and I believe uh, strongly, as we've gone over numerous times, that that is why the mad rush here toward you. Uh, they feel your pulling away energy, guys. It's very strong here, landing right on your rose quartz. I am sending you telepathic messages. <laughs> that too, I have to say, that kind of been happening. Um, that's been happening for a long time, but you might be um, receiving those now, I have to say, and feeling it. It's a very strong energy, you guys. You hear that throat chakra? I'm always with you. Person really wants to communicate with you, Cancer. They just want you back and their energy too. I have to say, yes, I know you love me. <laughs> Is that you sending it to them? I have to say, please never give up on us. Yeah, it's, they're, they're nervous here. I also think your person, I have to say to you, um, they may not know the term divine timing, but they know that it's a timing issue. It was also for you a long time ago, I have to say here. Um, that's the other thing. They feel your energy moving away. It hasn't for a long time, and they're suddenly um, in this, excuse me, where did it go? The hangman energy. Um, into, they're more in tune with that, I have to say to you. I'm so sorry I hurt you. Yeah. I care too much what people think. That has been very strong in your readings for a while, Cancer. There are other people involved. And that Hierophant always shows up in your reading. It's not in your physical reading, but it always finds a way to come, whether it's through a totem or me seeing it, which I do now. Divine timing, guys. Your person made other choices. You both did. You have different lives, I have to say to you. There are other people involved in this connection. And that's part of the separation here. And this was pushing its way off. <laughs> Give me time as we talk about divine timing here, which we also see in the King of Pentacles. Your person could be feeling like it is. I have to say, my heart is yours, Cancer. I am afraid to contact you. Yeah, there is the fear there. We talked a lot about that with the moon card, but I do really feel like, which I saw for you, I do really feel very much like it's, um, it, they're kind of changing, guys, like that cone off and just wanting to come through pretty quickly, I have to say. That five was not a accident here, that that came out with their overall energy, that change. We see it here as well, really, really in that eight of wands. We'll give them a last chance after this. You are never far from my mind. You deserve so much more. Yeah, that's a lot of the guilt, guys, that came through very early in the shame, which we see here too. Your person knows. I think they knew it then too, Cancer, but I just don't think that they were ready, maybe distracting themselves with work, other things in their lives. Being stubborn too is very strong. Um, you always have the emperor energy too in your readings, I have to tell you. Aries energy there, but your person just really hiding um, their feelings. And being a little bit arrogant about it, that push and pull. Okay, I didn't even need to say last chance. This was flipped over. I'll never give up on us. Cancer, your reading, your readings <laughs> are always very emotional and beautiful. I always leave feeling, I feel the love between you is how I feel, but I also, I, I do feel a little bit of, I feel that sadness, but right now I feel that rush, that 
that speedy energy. And part of that is February, guys, as I channel. You might not be watching in February and readings are timeless. So that, that can be the case for a lot of you. But as I channel for you, that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling this. Um, yeah, just things moving here. That temperance card, that where did that go here? I had things moved so many times. The cards quite literally too. That really fast moving waterfall there. But they're all gathering up here in this pond. Um, it's time to look at them. Your person is, hasn't wanted to, but boy, do they want that cone off. All right, guys, we are going to look at totems. These can be coming from spirit guides, angels, ancestors, your person. I'm going to, let's do this here. Okay, um, so I got a goddess power oracle card for you today, Cancer, to put your totems on and then we'll look at it at the end and close the reading, okay? All right, Cancer, we're starting with numbers. One, five, there's that five again, guys, interesting. And if you want to put them together, you have the two fives and what's even more interesting about that, it really is a transformational energy here, guys. Angel messages, I love angel messages for you. And look, there's more. You have the sixes here. Let's move your five over here, guys. Yeah, you have a really strong angelic energy, I want to say to you, around you. For a lot of you, too, it's particular angels, I have to say, maybe even one in particular. I um, didn't tell you that, but I actually read for you yesterday, and it was really long and beautiful. And um, some of the files were corrupt, so I wasn't able to um, bring that reading to you. But boy, did you have all kinds of angel messages. And I want to tell you, it's still your reading. And a penny did come down, a penny from heaven, which is support somebody watching you through this transformation is what I want to tell you. And it was 1990 was the year of the penny. So that might mean something to you. But also that one and that nine there, guys, coming to a 10 there, that transformational um, new beginnings is what I want to tell you. And that nine is really just wishes fulfilled. We see that with the magician card and also things coming to fruition. Okay, is there another number here? No, but we do have letters here. It can be initials, locations, H. Excuse me, S, a little worn off, C. There's a Q. All right, a couple of things I want to say before we get into this here. Um, guys, there are two here, and these are grapes, and this is a lot about development and also fertility in the way you think, um, but I don't generally go there in my readings, as you know, but it's interesting because look, it's coming through twice here, also with the rabbit, <laughs> I have to tell you. So that is something that's coming through. Can be wishes, dreams, things that didn't happen, or can't even be you have children with your, fam your, your person. That's not going to be for everyone, babies. Like I said, I don't really like to go into that in my readings, guys, but it's kind of hard to ignore. But there's two things here going on. Also, I want to tell you with the rabbit that can be spirits sending down for you to take care of matters of the heart. So whatever that's going to mean for you. The other thing I want to say to you is that fertile ground. And we see that with your person really wanting some kind of a new start. And it really is all about divine timing that is coming through. And that's a lot of what, um, when this comes through for me, it really is a lot about the spiritual connection between you and the divine timing here. And the new starts, guys. And I want to say to you, whether that's coming back together together or just reconnecting here, but your person really wants to offer some information for you and, and an apology and an explanation for things that you've been asking. I have to say, it's very, very strong here. All right, and look, yeah, you got a microphone. They're really wanting to talk to you, Cancer. We already know that with the Eight of Wands quite quickly. Hello. <laughs> I'm just being silly now, but really, Cancer, it's so super strong, and I know I just, um, yeah, your readings just go on and on because they're beautiful, and there's a lot of messages, and the energy is very strong that your person 
if they haven't already written you, they're really, really wanting to, I have to say to you, they have a lot, on that note, they have a lot to say to you is what I want to say. And on that note, with that guitar that we saw, um, wanting to make some peace with you, but offer it to you as well. And we see that with the Angel of Comfort and that number six about making peace. It's super strong, I have to say. This apology, I'm putting it here, guys. And yeah, about what? This connection, this love here, guys. There it is. There's that flower. All about love, I have to tell you. And new beginnings. And we are in that season, I have to say, depending on where you are in the world, but things are changing. It's the, the change of the seasons is, is upon us, I have to say. And it's a very, um, again, the year of the water tiger is a very um, intense year of just drastic changes, taking steps that we've been thinking about for a long time. And you've been on your person's mind all the time, but there's a, a change. It's different how they want to come to you and look because they figured something out here. There is that heart key. What happens when we see a key? Well, can be unlocking things. And we saw the moon card for your person very much. We talked about the subconscious and the crayfish. Your person really um, needed that. And I have to say here, to get that perspective with that cone on, that healing with the hangman, you may not be there anymore. And they're terrified of that. We see that in the Eight of Cups, but they realize it, I have to say to you, they know, they have unlocked something, I have to say, here. Um, cancer. Okay, and I just want to tell you, too, it can be that the key is just something very symbolic for you as well. Can't even to do have to do excuse me with houses, that sort of thing, but we're not going to, we're not going to go there, but there you go. Let me turn it over. Okay. Cancer. Your reading was beautiful as always. Take very good care of yourselves. Love and light to you. Happy Valentine's Day. Love yourself, okay? Love yourself. You're beautiful and deserving of love. I'm. It's my honor as always to channel for you. I really do adore you so much. Never change, <laughs> okay? I look forward to seeing you at your next reading. Cancer. <laughs> I was just starting to clean up and look. We forgot to look at your Goddess Power Oracle card. Look, <laughs> it's the sun. I love that for you because look, the sun card is your overall energy. That is a 10, guys. The end of a cycle, completion, renewal. Um, just so beautiful for you, I have to say. And there it is again. So you hang on to that energy. Also, I want to tell you guys, there's that six again here on this particular card. And look at that. Your person knows. Your person knows. We won't go all into the sun card again, but your person knows. It's very clear here in that six, that, that peace offering, I have to say. Kind of crying uncle, quite literally here in that hangman energy. <laughs> Wanting to give themselves some comfort, but also you. It's, it feels sincere, you guys, but that's going to be, you know, up to you how you take it and what you do with that. I wish you well, Cancer. Bye.